yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I just want to thank you, Leslie, for inviting us into this truly magical space. I think a lot of us, to say the very least, uh, increasingly have come to know and understand, comprehend perhaps, the extent of our privilege. And, you know, many of us looking around, I feel intuitive going to buildings, into people's spaces, um, and often you'll uh, admire a place. But it's rare to walk into a room and into halls that have their own special, specific brand of magic. Uh, and this place um, really does. And so it's a real gift that you've gifted it to us. And that us is um, the Orion um, Orchestra. Uh, and of all of the rich privileges that I've had, far too many, um, it demonstrates more than anything else how far you can go with the capacity to network and to talent. <laughs> <laughs> It has been to, to champion um, classical music and now through an orchestra uh, that I think some people use, again, this word I find problematic, but uh, it, it's one that we, we should know and think about what it means in its authentic sense, a virtual signature of uh, classical music. In, in my case, um, the real gift of being now connected, president, proud of the Orion Orchestra is more than that. Uh, because um, classical music was something not just important for me, um, it was between the two. The night I saw her, she said, Oh, Rob, you don't know why you said it. Pearls are so hot. <laughs> 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 Lady Wade was standing behind her. The rich gift of, of, of what it was to be a little bit different, perhaps, but understand um, not just the complexity, the capacity, and the limitless wealth that classical music has to educate, to be sure, but to enrich everybody, regardless of who you are, to galvanize and to, more than anything else, to speak a language that is universal. And when we drape ourselves in that, and it has the capacity to clothe every single human being, regardless of their culture, their faith, their background, that's what Orion does. It's not just that it's best, but what it is in its very essence. It is, I think, in fact, I'm sure of it, the most articulate expression through the medium of its young players of what classical music not should be, but what it is at its very best. And lastly, tonight, um, some of you may or may not know, um, what coincides with the first night of Hanukkah. And um, that is, above all else, it's a, a festival of, of light. And the first night is Yonta, it's uh, an actual festival. Um, and it happened at a time where there was great threats around, where the world felt like it was encroaching in. Um, but that darkness was overcome through the power of one candle, through light. And um, the music we're going to hear tonight, the play, has each one of them, uh, Mikul, I've had the privilege and gift, a real serious gift of learning from and knowing and being in the presence of for a good part of the time. Um, that music gifts us that light. Um, and regardless of how dark things are, how much the walls feel they're coming in on us, um, how smothering the world may be for each and every one of us, again, whatever you are, whatever your narrative may be, that story of light communicated through this universal power of classical music through our Orion players has the capacity of a candle like the first night of Hanukkah to illuminate us all. And to be able to share that, to have it here in this magical place, on the first night of Hanukkah, to what I think is the best and I believe and will go on to be the best and most important orchestra in not just this country but in Europe, is a real gift. So thank you for hearing this wonderful music and to Orion. Here's to a fantastic year and to, despite what's happening in the world, our capacity to share the light of classical music with ourselves and the rest of the world, whoever various people may be. Oh,